Joyce and invited me to join you for the party. It's been wonderful. Um, I, I learned this story, a story this week. It's a fable from India, and it's been told many times uh, around the world in different cultures. So, uh, but it, it, it came originally from India, and, and um, I really liked it. So this is this is uh, my version of the story of the talkative turtle. <laughs> There once was a turtle who lived in a muddy pond. Uh, now this, this was a very clever and a very talkative turtle. He just loved to relax in that muddy pond and dish the dirt with his friends, the birds. <laughs> um, the birds, they, you know, they flew to the far corners of the earth and they came back with the most fascinating stories from their travels. Um, the, the turtle, he, he wasn't so much of a, of a jet setter. He, he didn't get out much. He had stubby little legs and a kind of a bulky shell. So he couldn't, he couldn't fly like, like those birds. But he could catch them up on all the local gossip when they came back. <laughs> so they could just chat and tell stories for hours on end. They were good friends and all very talkative. One day, after hearing a particularly exciting tale of, 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 of adventure from, from his friends, the birds, the turtle, he sighed and he said, oh, how I wish I could have a grand adventure and return with such great stories. You know, I have an idea. I have, I have a thought here. A, a plan for how I could travel with you the next time you, you migrate. Um, two, two of you could, could find a really nice long stick and grasp it at either end with your claws, and I could come up and clamp onto the middle of it with my beak. When you take off to fly away, I will hold on tight and I can fly with you, I can travel with you. The, and his friends, the birds, they thought this was a very clever idea. And they said, what a clever turtle you are. So, it, it, now, in order for it to work, however, you're going to have to keep your beak closed, and you won't be able to say a word as we're traveling. And the turtle agreed. He, he said, oh, yes, of course, this makes sense. Uh, so they set about planning their next, their next trip. Uh, two of the birds found a nice long stick, and they clasped it on either end with their claws. And the turtle, he waddled up to the middle and chomped onto the center of that stick with his beak, nice and tight. They took off, and the turtle, he held on tight, and he was flying. He was flying, he was traveling with his friends. It was so exciting. They were taking a migration vacation. Well, the first day of their trip, uh, they flew over a, a, a very beautiful desert, and the turtle looked down. He saw intricate patterns in the sand, and he thought, oh, what a beautiful landscape. He really wanted to talk with his friends and tell them <laughs> how much he loved the patterns in the sand. But he kept his beak closed and he didn't say a word. The second day, they passed over a majestic Hi. mountain range. Hi. And he looked down and was just, he was just awestruck by what he saw. He wanted to gasp and ooh and ah. But he kept his beak closed and he didn't make a sound. The third day of their trip, the birds and the turtle flew over a remote village. And the villagers down below, they looked up and they saw the strange sight of a flying turtle, a, a turtle among the flock of birds. And they pointed to the sky and said, oh, look, look at those clever birds. They figured out how to make a turtle fly. And the turtle, he heard this and without thinking, he shouted back, it was my idea! <laughs> <laughs>